Music Spotlight. Um, my name is Kathy. I'll be the, co the host for tonight. We also have Bill Hannon and Josie Way co-hosting with me. And our guest is a very interesting guest that we have today. I've known her for, for a few years now. Um, her name is Patty McGarren. Uh, she's the owner of the Mind's Eye in Warwick, is it? Yes. So we'll be talking about you know some of the things that she does so, and you know how long she's been doing this stuff, though. Um, so I just want to talk about how we met. I was looking for um, someone to teach Corona Reiki because I just felt that pulled for it though. So um, I don't remember who I reached out to though, but they told me that like you teach it. So that's you know, and then I contacted you on that though. So it was just me and one other student that took the Corona yeah. with you, um, or three levels for that. Um, and do you remember how long ago that was? I don't remember what my certificate says now. I can't remember. Yeah, I would have to think about five years. It's been that long already, huh? It could okay. be about, because I think my, my new place was pretty new <clears throat> Okay. when you came in. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's longer than I thought. <laughs> yeah. you know, and um, I actually like Kuruna Reiki, though. There are um, different styles. Um, I teach the Yusui and the Kuruna uh, for people. Um, so let's just take it over to you. How did you get started with the Kuruna Reiki? Um, I actually had a chance to take a class with William Rand, okay. who is the president of the Asui Reiki, the Reiki International, right. okay. and I got a chance to take it with him, and I was very interested in it because um, with my hypnotherapy, I love metaphysical hypnosis mm -hmm. over the regular, right. and it's almost like with Corona, you have almost like metaphysical symbols right. that I feel are so powerful, mm -hmm. and there's nothing that you can't do with the regular Reiki, right. but it just takes longer, and I kind of like the, the yeah, speedy, it's a little quicker, the yeah. version <laughs> of the, of the yeah. of it. It's just a different vibration, though. That's, that's, what, that's what it comes down to, but there's so many symbols with the Corona, and that mm -hmm. tends to overwhelm people at first. Yep. Um, I know when I teach it, though, at this point, though, it's like sometimes people get really stuck on the symbols. I'm like, don't worry about the symbols. You're gonna get, you, it's gonna take time to learn the symbols. But once you have them, though, it's it's, it's so awesome, though, because they do when, so many different. When things. I took it with William Rand too, <clears throat> all in our hotel rooms, we were staying in a hotel in New York, mm -hmm. in northern New York, and they gave us all the symbols to start studying. Mm -hmm. And I went, whoa! And yeah. then I had to break it down into Karuna One, Karuna Two, and Karuna Master. Yeah. So that that way it wasn't quite so overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Huh? Yeah, 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 I really enjoy the energy of the Queen, even though the, all the symbols are very intense. Mm -hmm. But it's a soft energy with it, though, too. It's, it is it's a very, very soft, yeah. beautiful energy with yeah. it. So you, you can work through a lot of stuff, though, with the Corona symbols. And, and it just is, like, you could take the long-distance symbol to go into past lives, mm -hmm. but with the Corona, they have their own symbol that just takes you right there yeah. into the past life that the person needs to work mm -hmm. on. Yeah. So. so what else do you do at the um, at your, uh, at your I certify space? hypnotherapists okay. and um, teach both clinical hypnosis and metaphysical hypnosis. Okay. Um, I do a lot of psychic and mediumship work. Okay. That's probably, mediumship has kind of taken over mm -hmm. a lot more than I had expected it to do. Um, originally, I just wanted it, I just thought it was just going <clears> to <throat> contain in my readings. But then um, I did something in Vancouver where I ended up doing stand up in a group, mm -hmm. and it just after that happened, it just kind of just opened up. Uh, it just door opened for a few you, more yeah. doors yeah. that I didn't expect to open. And it's so funny because the mediumship is what I fought the most, and I took thousands and thousands of dollars in classes so that way I could learn to not have mediumship because mm -hmm. they they brought me the death. <laughs> Yeah. And I could, f I would feel how they would die. Mm -hmm. So after I studied with everybody and asked the question, and nobody gave me the answer, I watched a Montel Williams with Sylvia Brown on it, mm -hmm. and in her raspy four packs of cigarette voice, she said, "Just ask them not to." <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Something that and, simple, yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny because I did have, with my readings and everything, and my spirit guides, I had all these boundaries with them, so that that way it was contained so I wasn't getting information 24 hours a day. Right. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to go to the grocery yeah. store right. and be reading everybody in line, you yeah. know? So I put all these boundaries down by asking and asking angels and stuff like that. Yeah. But I never thought to ask them mm -hmm. and didn't realize that they're learning how to get the information to me as much as I'm learning how to receive mm -hmm. the information from them. Yeah. So once I got that down, I got pulled on stage in Vancouver, and a girl that I knew, like lightheartedly, like we went to the pub and had a sandwich and a drink, mm -hmm. like after classes, 
you know, you don't realize that some people have such heavy problems and so much stuff going on in their mm -hmm. life. And I did a stand-up mediumship where her father and, and her um, grandmother, her father's mother, came through. And I watched this girl heal in five, seven minutes while I was on stage. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I said, whoa, this mm -hmm. is what it's about. Yeah. And um, it was a pretty incredible experience. And it did change my, you know, change my life. And so then I had to come back and say, OK, I, I taught hypnobirthing. I need to remove that. I brought Larry in, so I have a shaman in my one, okay. and he's teaching the shaman classes. Okay. Do you know I've had Daisy there for 19 years, mm -hmm. so it's um, I, I redistributed, and I had to take my control issues and learn what how is to Daisy put them away. Do? Daisy's a psychic medium okay. as well. Yeah, so she does a lot of that. It, she does a lot more of the one on one, okay. where I tend to do a lot more of the groups. Okay. But I mean, I do a lot of one on ones too. Right. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. just. I can get her to do a group read maybe once a year. <laughs> I get so excited. Yeah. <laughs> then we kind of co-do it. And oh, there's a friend of mine. We're like sisters from another life. So right. We're, we're, we're basically opposites, about as opposite uh -huh. as you can get. Right. In fact, we laugh. My husband has got almost the same birthday just a day to a pot from her house. And her partner and I are one day apart. Oh. So it, it's so funny. So we have that. Frequency. It, yeah. it is. It's crazy. So she'll call me up and say, is that an Aquarian thing? <laughs> I'll call and say, is that a Taurus thing? Right. So it's one of those things. It was, so we just get our information. We complement each other wonderfully. Mm -hmm. So I love to do things with her. But uh, so, you know, sometimes sometimes she feels like it, sometimes she doesn't, and and, yeah. and we're we're all That's right. different. I hey. get her out of the box; she grounds me. Mm -hmm. She's the Taurus, or you are. She's the Taurus. I'm not. I'm Aquarius, <laughs> Aquarius rising with the Gemini moon. Mm -hmm. Oh my you goodness! Yeah. You really floating up there, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I can't understand how I got in finance and stuff, you know, for oh, the, yeah. for years. It so when is your birthday? February 10th, next Monday. Okay. Yeah. Cause mine is today. Yours is today. Happy yeah. birthday! Another <laughs> Aquarius. Another Aquarius. <laughs> yes, you're surrounded, Kathy. Oh yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I jokingly. I won't do it to you. I jokingly call myself an airhead because of the I air do energy. Too. I do too. So grounding is helpful. <laughs> yeah, it is. I had a Capricorn daughter that helps do a lot of grounding mm -hmm. too. So. Right. So uh, it works out well. Yeah. So the, I, I've had to learn how to give up control and let other people teach it. And it was so funny because it was a mediumship circle that another business had. And her people came to mine, my people came to hers. Mm -hmm. I've got a really good circle of people. It's very exciting. So what, what happened is I went there and I saw a man that had two of the same major shamanic because I did a shamanic apprenticeship program too, and they had the wolf and the red-tailed hawk next to them. And I said to uh, another lady, I said, oh, a shaman. And I heard him whisper to the lady, when we do one-on-one, -on -one, I want to work with her. So he must have seen something as well. Mm -hmm. And the second time I saw him, when I was going into the business, I got told basically that I was fired and he was hired for the shaman shamanic classes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and somebody turned to him and said, I'm getting spirits telling me you need to start doing groups. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I got told that you're supposed to do groups for me. <laughs> so, and he's been with me ever since. And it, it released me from some things because I was getting pulled in too many different yeah. directions. Sure. So I stick pretty much the psychic mediumship, the hypnosis and the Reiki mm -hmm. now. The mm -hmm. Reiki and Corona. Yeah. 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 Now, so, for the metaphysic, uh, for metaphysical hypnosis, um, how did you, is that a class by itself, though, that you learned? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, when, if you want to have your hypnosis certification, you really need to have 100 hours total. Okay. So, the hypnosis class, which I taught on this weekend, uh, the first um, 14 hours out of a 20 hour class, it's clinical so that you learn all the basics and stuff okay. like that. I, the metaphysical, I wrote the book, got it approved by the National Guild okay. and that kind of stuff. Well, that is my forte and okay. my favorite thing. And that's working with past life regression <clears throat> and um, soul retrieval, which I find mm -hmm. is so important. Mm -hmm. um, POTS therapy, you know, all kinds of things like mm -hmm. that. And so what it is is they have to do 20, 20 hours a classroom for each class. 20 for hours each topic? For each topic, yeah. Okay. 20 hours. Um, is counted for reading a book, a book report. But the book report is cool because it's all about 
um, their, their, how they feel about the style mm -hmm. of the hypnotherapist, not a book report. I've read them all, you know? Yeah. So, <clears throat> so it's the style of it. And then um, they write a script. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the whole thing, it's... it's oh, a script for, as if they were to do the hypnosis? Uh, as if they were going to do it. Okay. So a short script, but, the, you know, they, they send me a script. And then they get the certification, and then they take the second class. Okay. The second class, the metaphysical, as I said, is my favorite. It's kind of like the Karuna symbols. Mm -hmm. It's working with... Um, past lives and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So it just makes the healing move faster. Yeah. And um, it was in papers and everything, and I, I had to read it. There was a woman, I think it was Chicago way. She was like 600 pounds and couldn't leave her house. Mm -hmm. And they had a past life come in and come to find out to protect herself. She was in a harem, and mm -hmm. to protect herself, the first man that was in charge of the harem when she came in was a very sweet man. The second one was very abusive mm -hmm. and nasty. So she put on weight to protect herself. As soon as she saw the past life, what it was, it it was released. It was released from her soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it, and soul retrieval, which is a, is, is a different act, is you remove those contracts that you've made mm. that are no longer of your highest good. Mm -hmm. And then you can remove them so that that way you're not dealing with some of the past life stuff. Mm -hmm. And some things can be as simple as, we were talking just earlier, um, died in a fire. Mm. And petrified a fire, or drowned and petrified. In the water. I, somewhere along the way, I haven't reached that one yet where I have fixed it, but somewhere along the way, I did something where I fell from mm. heights. Do you mm. know? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> doing that and working with that kind of therapy, it's very quick. Mm -hmm. It's very quick. And the thing that's so fun with me is. First of all, I see their loved ones around them, <coughs> and I've been laughing because people coming to me for stop smoking want to know I'm medium because they want to know their relatives are supporting them and helping mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And so <clears throat> uh, it's fun because I get to see it. I've had a couple of fabulous times where I got to see their past life. I actually traveled it with them. Mm -hmm. Now I can't say anything to them when I'm asking them questions because I don't want to put any false memories in case it's right. In case it's, <clears throat> I learned that lesson, and I'm seeing when I learned that lesson, do you know what I mean? But it's usually I'm riding with them on their ride. Right. And um, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, so that's the a conversation second question. afterwards. Yeah. yeah. But I wait until they tell me what it is, and if it matches what I've got, and I'm like, woo, -woo you know, and it's, <laughs> it puts for a really fun discussion and stuff yeah. like that. Right. But it is very healing. I. I probably wouldn't have been able to stay in a relationship or anything if I didn't learn some quirks I had from past life stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very healing. Yeah, so that's so why the metaphysical is my favorite because I can watch it happen. I did. I have a funny story for you. I had a um, client that I was reading, and um, as soon as I went to put the cards down, I turned around and I saw PTSD, and mm -hmm. um, I knew it was in a foreign country. And I turned around and I said to her, her energy was all ziggy and zaggy and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, once I tell somebody they're coming for a reading, I don't charge any extra if I add the extra stuff, and I'll just give them some extra time. So I said to her, would you mind if we did a little hypnosis? I won't take away from your time from your reading, but would you mind if we did it? So I went through this whole thing, and I ended up doing a little POTS therapy and stuff like that with her. And, and a lot of chakra clearing and some of the sure. stuff mm -hmm. too. Sure. But anyway, at the end of it, she goes, I feel terrific. And it was great because the information came to me so much faster because when, you, when somebody's aligned, you can get the information right. so yeah, much faster. It's easier. So anyway, we had this incredible session. She was thrilled. She hugged me. Now, I did not know that she was going to counseling. I asked that if it's hypnosis, but and I have intake form. But for readings, I don't ask that question. Sure. So she, she um, calls me up and she says to me, she goes, Patty, she goes, my counselor, my, my psychologist is a little concerned that, that somebody that reads cards did POTS therapy. So I let her know what my qualifications were. Sure. Mm -hmm. And the therapist like, came right down yeah. off the ledge. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. I think he's thinking of somebody with a turban and a, sure. you know what I mean? And a, right, right, and with a tarot card. And... POTS therapy on her. So he, was, he was all nerved right. up. But once yeah. he found out that I was qualified, then he was all good. So yeah. it worked out really well. Could you, could you describe? 
not everybody might know what parts therapy is. Parts therapy is, we all have parts of us that sabotage us. So in other words, um, if, if you're sitting there and you're trying to do weight loss, you might have that part of you that midnight is determined it's going to go walk and eat the bag of Oreos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a few little pots that like to play that, you know? <laughs> so to eat the bag. So what you do is you go to that part and you have the person while they're under um, talk to that part and get the pot to work with them mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. So um, I also do virtual gastric band. Uh, Band, oh really? Which is and it's so funny because the, there's a woman from England that wrote the program and is copyrighted. And she's got a girlfriend in Canada, and she only allows the two of them to teach it. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm trying to make a program that I rewrite that is sure. a very respectful of copyright laws because I have copyrights copyrighted. Sure. But you um, can mirror you can stuff. mirror the intent. So I'm trying to do something like that. And it's right. hard because I'm so respectful. Her first session is so perfect. Mm -hmm. I love it, love it, love it. But it's very English, so I could actually make it more American mm -hmm. and probably go through it to set up the program because I really want to pay one of my students to do it to me. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's I'm, I'm having a huge success rate with it. Mm -hmm. The angels say you can do it. Yeah, I can write it. I was, I, I need to rewrite the thing so I can mm -hmm. teach it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little extra. It's nice to get the confirmation, though, you for sure. It. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, your space that you have, though, um, what's the name of it and how long have you been there? It's called the Mind's Eye, and that is a funny story, too. Okay. Um, my 401k guy, he paid a ton of money to learn <clears throat> how to meditate in schools in Boston, and he couldn't. He's a 401k, Wall Street. Oh, he's a logic-minded. Type A. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So every time he came into where I worked, I would give him a homework assignment. It could be as simple as, I want you to walk your two-year-old son <clears throat> in nature and notice five things you didn't notice, opening mm -hmm. up the right side of his brain mm -hmm. for him. And um, he had a, like a Led zeppelin -y type of band called The Mind's Eye, and I love that name. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I rented my first space and they wanted to put out a plaque, I didn't have a name. So I called him up and I said to him, can I borrow the name? And he said, you got me to learn hypnosis. He goes, I will gift you mm -hmm. the name. Mm -hmm. And it's um, the spirits and the spirits, the, the way things come all the way around. Many years later, he came to me and um, he had Parkinson's disease. Mm. And again, he was so loving and caring. So when the stock market fell and all his 401k people didn't have their money dropped, mm -hmm. he would like hurt for every one of them. Mm. So what ended up happening is uh, it made him sick. And mm. so he came to the shop and I got like a bunch of people, friends and stuff that were different healers doing work with him. And I did a hypnosis on him that he felt was very powerful where I had the angels cutting the cords to all these people oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and removing those cords. Yep. And he found that very beneficial. But I don't take full credit because I had a team work on him. Mm -hmm. And he went into remission. And a friend of his also ended up with it in a similar field. So I don't know whether they worked together or he met him through you know, people with Parkinson's or something. Sure. So he sent him to him and he went into remission as well. Mm -hmm. So it lets you know, we did we did Reiki on him, we did hypnosis on him, we did intuitive healing on him. I mean, it was, the, there was a whole bag of coconuts involved. Yeah. In, the whole and, shebang. And, yeah, the whole shebang. <laughs> and um, both of them ended up in remission. And I hadn't heard from him because I left that business and I moved on another business for um, a day job before I retired from it. And so I hadn't heard from him for years, and I bumped into a friend of his, and he's still in remission, and this has got to be at least 10 years. Mm. Wow, so that's amazing. It's, it's so amazing how yeah. this stuff goes. So he gave me my name, and the, the, the Mind's Eyes sure. healers gave him healing. And where so is that? it's a beautiful thing. The Mind's Eye? Mm -hmm. It's on Airport Road in Warwick. Mm -hmm. So it's 111 Airport Road. Mm -hmm. I'm in an office condo. 111, nice numbers. 111. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I rented it. <laughs> now, do you have a website in case someone wants to get yes, into you? Yes, it's the Mind's Eye R-I dot com. Okay. So it's M-I-N-D-Z, <laughs> right? M-I-N-D-Z. Okay. It's, it's the, the Mind's Eye R-I. Right. Okay. Uh, it's the website. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's really fascinating, though. So how did you get into all the metaphysics? I, I, a lot of the stuff I did from when I was a child. It was um, uh, so it came to me like we'd go on vacation and my parents would be driving and I'd say can we stop at the ice cream parlor with the big cow on the top you know and I'd never been there before and my parents were like what are you talking about and around the corner and see the big cow on the top of the right. building yeah. <laughs> so I, I did it all the way along and then what happened was uh, then I, I, I benched it when I was 13 I was in junior high school and I looked at the staircase I was in eighth grade and all these kids, seventh graders, were frightened, frightened going into middle school. Mm -hmm. And I saw their like great grandparents and their loved ones all around them. And I turned to two of my friends and I said, "Isn't it great that their loved ones are all hanging with them, and so that way they're not scared?" Yeah. And the two girlfriends looked at me like I had three heads, a tail, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it made me. Uh, I switched it. I was 13 years old, and yeah. I, mm. I switched it down. Right. And then I have to do everything dramatic being an aquarium, you would understand. <laughs> so I actually, when I was 18, a bird flew in, um, a crow flew into my windshield and got caught in my windshield wipers. Oh, wow. And somebody I worked with that I talked to all the time that I didn't know was into this turned around and said, they're trying to get your attention. You're supposed to open back up. And he mm -hmm. didn't even know my history. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. And, and sure enough, it started, it started flying. Yeah. The shapeshifters, yeah. Absolutely. Right. And then what happened is, in the late 1990s, I've been reading, I was reading cards from 1985 on, but in the late 1990s, I had that four horrible years in your life. We all have a group of years that mm. you're like, oh my gosh, how did I live through it? And in those four years, I was looking something for myself. I had three teenagers, an ex-husband uh, that was fun, um, a current husband that was going through a whole lot, and father dying, you know, just everything you could think of from all different angles. And I said I had to find something for myself. And I took a beginning tarot class with a friend that made me not be able to read anymore because I was overthinking sure. mm. and she said to me buy a different deck and it'll combine what I've taught you and what it is that's right and it did that and I said and then she handed a flyer out a day of shamanic healing yeah and I went to her and I said I want to do apprenticeship work with you right and um, we did the, the apprenticeship which she was fabulous not only did she do the shamanic stuff she led you to check out Reiki hypnosis sure. and mm -hmm. you would find other professionals absolutely and I just started taking the classes and I, then I opened the mind's eye and everything was wonderful and then in 2010 life started taking some turns on me that were not too good and all of a sudden I realized that because I was making the mind's eye bigger but I wasn't moving myself far right, right, right. Mm -hmm. and I finally realized that they were going to torture me unless I did. <laughs> yeah. So I, it was the funniest thing because all this stuff came up in my life. And I turned around and I just started praying and I said, I promise you, if we can get this fixed, I will follow through with what right. I'm supposed That's to right. do. That's right. And I've never, had, like, I, I've had problems, don't get sure, me wrong, sure. and I've had rough stuff. I mean, that's life, that's our mm. life's lessons and stuff. But since I realized it and put in the effort and stuff like that, and move forward and keep listening to when they guide me well, in a different direction. Sometimes, you know, you have to lay the foundation down for yourself so you feel comfortable. And once you do that, then you're able to just let it happen. Yes, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And before that, as I said, I, I'm a control freak. Yeah, but they understand that. They know that. Yeah. So that's probably why they give you a little attitude so it could happen. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. <coughs> and you know, as an Aquarian, we have a tendency of the shiny penny being in so many different directions. Oh, please. That I just, I've studied more things than I can imagine. i got to tell you something, and I, I love it all because I think the more tools you have in your toolbox, the more effective of a healer you can mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. I agree. And some of my students says, oh, my God, if she says that one more time. Spirit can work with you better mm -hmm. the more you know. Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, if, if you've got a background in four or five different mm -hmm. things, they can use you to help many more absolutely. people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, use our point of references so and our knowledge. And even a crazy example <clears throat> is I do do some psychic detective work with these <coughs> departments, <coughs> and um, the pendulum, I, I've used the pendulum, but I've never really, I, I get the messages, yeah. in, so I don't. Sure, sure. Well, geographically, I am 
not good. Okay. So I started with maps doing the pendulum. Pendulum, yeah. And um, I found two bodies. Do you know what I mean? So it's. It's it's crazy mm -hmm. that having those extra tools. Mm -hmm. right. Some uh, a student of mine turned around and said, "I bet the pendulum would help you because sometimes the students become the teacher." Mm -hmm. And um, she said, "I bet that that would work," and she did. And unbelievable, some of the stuff well, that's happened. You, sometimes you have to realize also that it's your guides or their guides speaking through them to get the message I to have you. I agree completely yeah. with you. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. yeah, sometimes it's hard to read for ourselves. So sometimes we have to have the, the conduit. Yeah. Yeah, to kind of to give us for ourselves because we have to do it intellectually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can read for myself right. because intellectually, but sometimes I can't. It's very hard for me to. Um, uh, so sometimes I still you get used to the way you do things. Mm -hmm. right. Do you know what I mean? Right. And um, <clears throat> absolutely, sometimes you have to listen to spirit. Sometimes spirit comes from somebody else because you're not listening and they have mm. to knock you on the head. Oh yeah, with well, the, well, the two by four. With the two by four, yes, <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. yes. That's where the others come in. There. Uh, absolutely, yeah. 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 Ba basically, <clears throat> if you work with spirit, they don't do things for you, mm -hmm. but they guide you in the right direction. It's like having a well-oiled machine. Sometimes we forget to oil ourselves, and they, and then we can move forward. I bet all of you do. You, do you all work with clients? I, I do. Have, yes. Yeah, you all do. Mm. One of the things that I bet that you found, all right. One of the things is because of hypnosis, deep breaths, getting that oxygen to the brain. I worked in the as controller of a thirty-five million dollar company, mm -hmm. and it was constantly like this. Right. And, at night, your, your head's spinning sometimes at 3 mm. o'clock in the morning. Right. You take three deep breaths, it takes the negative stuff and puts it to one side, puts it to the other, and life <clears throat> makes sense to you. Mm. Well, I'll be up three nights in a row, and all of a sudden I have a client, and it's coming through that she's wound tighter than a drum, mm -hmm. and I'll say, take the three breaths, and as I'm saying it, I'm saying, you dummy, you should be doing it for yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes you're we right. get the message and, and, too when we're right giving it. That. How yes. many times do we not <laughs> yes. look for ourselves? Absolutely, and, right. absolutely. And you say it to the client, and as, as you're saying it, you're like, wow, I could have been like much more rested this mm. week if I did it. Mm. As you get older, that, today's my birthday, so I'm very in tune with that. As you get older, you also have to learn to accept help sometimes. And that letting go of the control mm -hmm. and, the, and the way of doing things it's been a is, big a, lesson. is a challenge. It's been a big lesson to me, starting by giving up and letting other people do some of the work mm -hmm. in my shop and not holding on to it like this. And then I'm finding it in life now, too. It's absolutely, mm -hmm. it's, and it's amazing. I found that my circle and my crew are so cool. I'm so fortunate. I've got mm -hmm. such a great circle. Mm -hmm. So before we finish, we're just about out of time. Oh, okay. I just, how do people get a hold of you though if they want to get, um, go to your, your, your location though or get an appointment with you? Well, usually the easiest <coughs> way is by phone. Okay. 401-465-8400. Okay. That's that, usually, no, I missed the first. Uh, th 401-465-8400. Yeah, okay. And that's usually the best way to get a hold of you. You can also Facebook message me on the Mind's Eye, M-I-N-D-Z-E-Y-E. On Facebook, my Facebook page, Facebook mm -hmm. message, or a message through Wix on the, um, oh, on the, the website that okay. you had talked about earlier. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. oh, the mindsiri.com. You got okay. it, thank you. All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was forgetting well, it. Yeah. It's, yeah. Been, it's, it's, it's been very uh, interesting. Um, thank you, I enjoyed talking it with myself. You enjoyed, thank right. you, nice talking to you. But it was also nice to, to hear how you've kind of woven things together. Yep. and how that actually gives you a better foundation. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You, know, you can fall back on so much. When I think about how all over the board I was at what time and how it's all come in mm -hmm. like this, it's amazing. Yeah. Right. So. So the path is, will always take you to where you need to be. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Always, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, well, thank you very much for it's sharing. it's always yeah. better than what we imagined. I, I have to agree with you on that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank our, you. Our best thinking doesn't take us to where spirits <laughs> best thinking takes us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And once you take that ego out, it is right. fabulous. Yeah. But it's a stubborn little bugger. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 when I lost it, I loved it that I lost it. Yeah. yeah. Ego, it was. Um, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I've learned though that like, the spirit side, though, they see the whole picture. We don't always, even though we think oh, we absolutely do. Absolutely not. You know, but, but yeah. yeah. So. I,